a storyteller. And, and can I tell you guys another story? Yes. All right, but before I do so, I need y'all to help me out. And don't worry, you don't have to do something. You just have to envision something for me, because this, this next one is about a very beautiful girl. So this mic stand, I want you to envision that this mic stand is the most beautiful girl you ever saw. Can you do that? I don't believe you guys. Have you seen the new um, Shakira Rihanna video? Yes. Yes, I, you know what I'm talking about. This is the most, girls, this is such a pretty girl. You see her and you instantly hate her. And guys, you see her, you're like, God damn. Can you say it with me? She is, God damn. Exactly, now I understand. This is her, right? So I saw a girl so pretty. The moment I spotted her, I already pictured her in pictures with me. But looking back, I wouldn't refer to that moment as being Kodak. Nah, because it was just the moment of eye contact. And C accepted it in a way that showed that C was clearly expecting it and so paid no real attention to the attention that I was given. So wait, let me get this straight. C sees me but acts like I'm not living. <laughs> Attention was received, yet arrogance was given. Yep. <laughs> but you see, the truth is, even though I despised her rudeness, I still spied some cuteness. <laughs> so I walked over. What's up, girl? She rolled her eyes, expecting me to be that guy full of. Bullshit and lies. <laughs> what an attitude. I mean, fellas, we all know that women are the biggest lies. What? I didn't make up the rules. Girl, you do. When your hex is with your voodoo, because you ain't that tall. Your high heels fake your altitude, and your makeup makes up lies, and that lipstick might bring out the color of your eyes, but also makes your lips stick fake and taste like plastic, but hey. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> well, that may, well, that may be the case, but girl, I am interested in a beauty case you put on your face. I want to get to know you. So I'll look and smile and say, what's up? While you take an arrogant look as a comfortable expression. Kind of like a defense mechanism, I'm guessing. That's too bad. Because you see, I consider myself to be a pretty cool dude. Now don't get me wrong, because I may not be your type, or you might not be in the mood. I'm just saying there's no need for you to act this rude. And it's not like I don't understand. I mean, nowadays you got to be careful. And let's admit it, you probably got hurt. So I get it. One dude messed up, now every guy's a jerk. But girl, I wasn't trying to get underneath your skirt. <laughs> At least not immediately. <laughs> How can I? We haven't even spoke a word. It's your body language that are all the talking. So it's cool. I won't bother you. I'm just going to keep on walking until I end up talking to someone who speaks with mutual respect. Because to be honest, I'm done with this arrogant act of tough girl you're portraying to be. Say what you want, but I'm just being me. Yeah, yeah.